the channel you want to listen to. Dover Community Radio. It on at the various venues and be loading all the inf- information and publicity and competitions on as you can see. Have you got a good response from the public? Yeah, it's been absolutely fantastic. So many people, um, we've managed to raise the awareness of the Paralympics but also disability sport. But it's not only to change people's awareness, it's also to change children's awareness yeah. when they grow up. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. I mean, a lot of the children have said we've been asking them questions because we were aware at school, obviously, they've learned about the Olympics and Paralympics. But with the mascots and things in particular, the reason why they look like they do, there's particular reasons why and why Mandeville is called Mandeville and things like that. So we've been telling them that sort of information as well. Uh, and do, do, do your people like to be thought of as physically ch- as just persons? Or physically challenged person. We're all physically challenged, aren't we? Yeah, well, we've had them both, everybody, we've had all people from all walks of life and all backgrounds um, on the bus. It's been absolutely fantastic so far. But I think about the Paralympians themselves. Do they, do they like to be regarded as like super beings? Or? Yeah, I think um, Channel 4 is currently referring to them as superhumans. Um, and th- there's some promotion certainly around. They are in a way, really. Yeah, yeah. definitely. So, um, the things they've had to overcome in their life, definitely. We've all, we've all got handicaps of some sort. Yeah. What do you think about, about the mental mental illness as, uh, angle? Do you think do you, do you, do mental illness should be allowed to take from the Paralympics? The Paralympics? Yeah, I don't see why, why it shouldn't. Um, I mean, they, we're trying to make the games as inclusive as possible, so hopefully in the future. Could you ex- ex- explain to me how, 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 you, they, how you qualify people as as what, what disabilities they have, what they take part or...? Each sport's got their own set of classifications um, and they're dependent on the what disability the person has and the extent to which it affects how they can perform in a sport. And, and do, um, do, 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 does each, each um, section have a, different, have a different event or is it just... Um, it's dependent on each sport, so each sport will have their own classifications as to who can take part. There may be some sports that some disabilities take part in, and then others that they don't. So if you're a swimmer without an arm, yeah, you, you don't. Think, if you got, if you, they don't then stay in the same race as a swimmer with, with just the one arm. No, they've got. Um, they're, okay. They'll get, be given a number. Fair, yeah, fair, absolutely. Fair. So they'll race against the people that. Um, at class, there's the same sort of. And there's a few um, of solidarity as well, isn't there? Like people, yeah. similar people. Yeah, definitely. So what's, so your, what's your attitude then to it all? Absolutely, Marvel, yeah, absolutely, absolutely love it. I'm actually volunteering at the Paralympics as well as a games maker. So. Very nice. Yeah, so that'd be good. Ah, I think it's amazing as a tapper. Oh, okay. Yeah. So how do they do that exactly? So. Um, and for what for guiding? Guide, guide people turning in the swimming pool. Oh, okay. What so? You have a rod and they tap them on the back. And they oh, okay. No, I didn't. I haven't noticed that one. So, yeah, that's interesting. yeah, I don't know if you have to have special training to do that or not, or whether you just watch out for them and tap them. <laughs> so. so, do you think all in all, every, there are lots of lovely people around? Yeah, they're absolutely, especially across the county, but also experience um, in the London as well when I've been up for the games and things. So. Does, that, does that make you feel empowered, does it? Like working for a course rather than yeah, like definitely. I uh, really enjoyed it. So. And so what's, what's this we've got you have today, a colouring competition? Yep, so I'm just sharpening the pencils at the moment because we've had so many children colouring in that they keep going blunt. So that's my job at the moment. <laughs> so. Well, shall I say, shall I say bye, bye for the present? Yeah, that's fine. Thank you very much. <laughs> that's okay. So just, yeah, going around interviewing a few people, seeing what we're doing today. Yeah.